Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another story time. Today's video, we're going to be covering... Well, it's actually another story from the exact same year that I talked about in the previous clip. And uh, this is 2002. 2002? 2003. 2003. Uh, my final year at Christchurch South Intermediate, my last year before attending high school. And I was taught a very, very valuable lesson. This is a lesson of perseverance. This is a lesson of believing and achieving, even at age 12. So what happened was, at Christchurch South, every day, in second form, this is year eight, we had a teacher, Mrs. Culpin. Now she was sports mad, just like me. So it suited me perfectly, but it definitely didn't suit everyone in the class. So every day we did a personal training sort of session, which included a block run. So it was about a two kilometer run around a block, around the, the block that the school was on, and back in, the, back in the gates and back to the class. So we started at the class, we went out the front gates, all the way around the four streets, then back in the same gate and back to class. And she would time us. She'd time us not only to keep us accountable, but also to show us that with a bit of effort, you can achieve some amazing things that you never thought yourself capable of. Now, the person I'm going to mention in this video is not me, but it's actually the girl who had the worst time in the class. Her name was Julia. Now myself, I've got to admit, I was never, I was never a long distance runner. I was always about sprints, but when I did do long distance, you know, I'd, I'd try my best. I wasn't bad, but I definitely wasn't you know, crazy good. So I'd probably say out of 30 students, I might come 10th, something like that. We did have some pretty crazy sports people in that class. It was a sports mad class, incredible class. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you know, room six, Christchurch South Intermediate, 2003. What a time to be alive. Anyways, when we went out for these runs, this girl would always get last. She'd always get last. She'd always walk. You know, her and a friend actually, these two girls would always walk. As soon as they got out the gate, they'd start walking. It would take half an hour for them to get back. They'd get back, you know, twice as long as anyone else. And the teacher was like, you know, okay, you can do that. But the only person you're letting yourself down is yourself. And, uh, you know, all you need is a bit of belief. And she believed in them. And she pushed them. And she started actually running the block with us. But not that often. Anyways, guys, the moral of the story is the fact that due to, due to a little bit of self-belief, just a little bit, this girl not only started completing the entire block run without walking, but she got herself into the middle of the pack, guys. She was finishing around about the same time I was, okay? This is a girl, an overweight girl, who had no belief in herself physically, and in, a, and in two or three short months, she was, you know, obviously, I don't know if that actually meant anything to her, but for me, as another student, to see that happen physically, to see those changes happen, you know, not being the best runner myself, I was extremely impressed, extremely. And so that's always stuck with me, that story of Julia doing the block run at Christchurch South Intermediate and going from someone who absolutely hated it turn her nose up at anything physical, walked the whole entire way to actually, to actually, you know what, unbelievably, uh, actually enjoying it and looking forward to it because you see a bit of improvement, you get a bit of belief, you start actually setting goals and achieving them and it can completely change your life in more ways than you know. So with all that being said, that is my second story of the day. That was about Julia doing the block run and uh, overcoming, you know, fear, uh, I guess anxiety about possibly being overweight, blah, 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 you know, a bit of belief and, and anything's possible. So that story uh, will always stick with me. That was from 12 and a half years of age and uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Laters. Your style, put you in Chanel cause this is perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I 